I think Francis Underwood is a, a fundamentally optimistic and hopeful person. Hmm. Yeah, you have From to a be. Dark place. You have to be. Uh, I don't. Th he doesn't see himself as evil. Uh, he sees himself uh, in a in a world in which it's highly competitive, that's cutthroat, where it's hunter be hunted, and he feels he's got the best version of leadership to offer. Uh, he wants that power, and he thinks the world will benefit from it, but he's not shy about saying that the chief person he's trying to benefit is himself. In order to achieve that power, he attempts to do impossible things, and often proves the impossible to be possible. That's an optimistic, hopeful point of view. Uh, its motivations might not be um, pure, uh, but I think if we're really honest with ourselves, most of us don't have motivations that are 100% pure. Yeah. All right. That's a, <laughs> probably a fair point. Um, well, no, I mean, for instance, I mean, you know, as a journalist, right, journalists, uh, in the purest sense, are truth seekers. Uh, they have a desire, a hunger, to find the truth, and to share it with the rest of the world. But they also know the power of that truth. They know that it could lead to a Pulitzer. They know it could lead to a front page byline. They know that the more notoriety they have, the more influence and access that they have. Those things go hand in hand. And to be a great journalist, oftentimes you need great ambition. And ambition isn't necessarily a pure thing. I mean, there is ego involved. There is a desire to conquer. Uh, and in order to achieve the to, to, to find the truth that you want in the purest sense, uh, you have to tap in to this ambition that you have on the other end of the spectrum. So there's all a bit there's of Frank Underwood in all of us. Yeah. yeah, and I think we're seeing the most extreme version of Frank Underwood uh, in all of us, and his name is Frank Underwood. <laughs> but but, but uh, I think that he does give us access to parts of ourselves uh, that are self-serving, uh, that but that are also um, liberated by the thought of the impossible being possible. I mean, so often we face odds that we think are insurmountable in our own lives. Uh, and it can be inspiring uh, to see someone who goes, there are no odds that are too big to overcome.